Setting up Studio Monitor Express to work with your DAW is pretty quick and easy to do and I'm going to show you guys how to do it using Logic Pro 9. The first thing that I should mention is that you should make sure that you have Studio Monitor Express open and also that you have U-Control open. U-Control should be seeing all of your connected Euphonics Artist Series controllers. As long as you're set with that, you should be good to go. So now I'm going to go into Studio Monitor Express and I'm going to click on the Sources tab. In the Sources tab, I'm going to click into the Name section and I'm going to enter Logic. Now I'm going to make sure that my format is set to Stereo and I'm going to hit Create. This is going to create the input pair that's going to send audio into Studio Monitor Express. Now I'm going to click on the Patching tab. And on the Patching tab, under the Audio Device Out, I need to tell my main left and main right where to send their audio outputs to. So I'm going to click main left and select out 1 and main right and select out 2. Now the last thing I need to do in Studio Monitor Express is click on the main tab. And now in the section underneath the control room, monitor A and monitor B sections, I'm just going to go ahead and enable the logic check mark that's next to each of these sections. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go into my system preferences. In System Preferences, I'm going to click on the Euphonics icon. And in the Euphonics window that opens up, I'm going to make sure that Studio Monitor Express has a check mark next to it. I'll quit off the System Preferences, and now I'm going to go back into Logic. Now in Logic, I'm going to click on Logic Pro, go to Preferences, and Audio. Now, under the Output Device section, I'm going to click and select Euphonics Monitor. I'm going to apply my changes. And now that I've done that, Logic knows that it should send its audio output to Studio Monitor Express. Now, on my MC Control, I can use the Control Room knob to control the volume output of Logic, but before I can do that, I have to do one last change. That change is that I need to go into Studio Monitor Express and make it the frontmost application. Now I need to jump into U-Control and click on the Assign tab. Now you're going to notice that you control is seeing Studio Monitor Express as the frontmost application. This is very important because it, it means that you control is going to point its attention at Studio Monitor Express for this assignment that I'm going to do. I'm going to go down and I'm going to click Monitor and Control Room. This is going to give me the message locked to Studio Monitor Express on and list my computer name right here. What this means is that the Control Room knob that's on the face of my MC Control is going to be permanently locked to Studio Monitor Express. And this means that no matter what program is the frontmost application, that knob will always control the control room fader in Studio Monitor Express. Now I'm all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into Logic. I'll start playing the audio and I'll show you that I can control the volume of Logic using the control room knob on my MC Control. <laughs> And that's it. I hope this has been useful to you guys. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a line at brian at obedia.com. And until next time, take care.